Hi, I'm Carly from the Midland Reporter. A new batch of auxiliary officers have arrived at the Midland Police Station and we interview them to find out what their daily duties involve. Julie, what can you tell me about being an auxiliary officer and what you actually get up to each day? Okay, so while we're here at the station, our main role is um, a custody role where we um, uh, process people that are brought in um, as arrest or as a suspect, so we process them and um, then maybe convey them somewhere, take them to court. Um, we also fulfil um, a quartermaster role, which is in the armoury, where we um, keep um, check of equipment, make sure it's serviceable, and um, and sign it out to the officers each day uh, when they start their shift. And then we also um, do administrative role of um, like daily stats of what the officers have been up to in a, on their shifts and and things like that. And yeah. how does that help uh, free up the officers? Well, so particularly with a custody role, it enables them to go off and do their paperwork rather than having to stand with the, um, the person they've brought in. So, um, yeah, that helps them get on with their paperwork or if they need to, they can get back out onto the front line and helps have more officers out there. Yeah. Really? And what do you enjoy most about the role? I think it's the variety. There's um, a lot of variety each day. I mean, we have our set tasks that we do each day, but um, each day can bring a surprise. You don't know who they're going to bring in for us to, to um, process. So... I th yeah, each day is um, a little different. Cool. Dan, how long have you been a police officer for? Uh, eight months. Eight months? And what do you enjoy most about the role? Uh, well, since le coming here, leaving uh, East Perth lockup, um, I enjoy getting out on the road. Yeah. Uh, something that we didn't get to do a lot of at East Perth. Um, you know, conveying people from, you know, to Hake here and East Perth lockup. That's, um, that's always a nice job. And, yeah, the variety of just you know, not knowing what we're going to be doing that day and it's always always a nice thing rather than coming into work and knowing, you, you know, what you're doing each day, every day, every day in, day out, it's, yeah, it's always different. So Gemma, how long have you been a police auxiliary officer? Oh, 14 months. 14 months? Yeah. And where were you previous to visit? Uh, the Watch House, uh, the East Perth Lockup. Terrific. And how does it differ, the volumes of people coming through Midland? Uh, Midland is more people that have offended here that can't be summoned, um, whereas the lockup, a uh, lot more people. So as opposed to one or two people here a day, yeah. 30 to 40 in the East Perth lockup isn't unusual. And how do you cope? How did you cope with the volumes of people there? Um, we have bigger teams. Okay. Uh, there'll be a, around 10 to 12 of us on a team. So you each have your set job for the day. So when there are a lot more people in the cell blocks, are a lot bigger as well. So coming back to Midland then, does that mean you guys have like, very small teams here? Uh, yeah, oh, you obviously have the teams of officers, but as auxiliaries we work in pairs. Okay. So we run the lock-up and do the daily tasks in pairs. Um, Alan, how does the clientele differ, differ here in Midland? Well, the volume is a lot less yeah. and yeah, you get you get juveniles where we never used to get juveniles at the watch house okay. and it's, you and have to take a different... Well. You approach it basically the same, but in just uh, if you have to do any interviews or anything like that, an adult has to be present, otherwise you can't go ahead and do anything. If you have to take fingerprints and DNA, you can't do it without an adult being present. Or they have to be constantly monitored, unlike adults, where you can sort of have 20 minute intervals. With the juveniles, you have to sort of monitor them all the time. Does that take up more time for you guys when you have to it, it, it sure does, it sure does. You know, you have to cover every aspect, so just in case something does arise, you know, you can always have an answer for it. You'll have to keep a lookout for the full profile article in the Midland Reporter.